What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And if my audio still sounds weird, my uh, still I'm about to get some new headphones the next couple days. My uh, Logitech's broke. I had some really nice wireless ones. They broke on the other day. And let's get into some space news. I've been away. I hit the uh, beach condo this weekend. Thank you, all. Awesome, Anna and I went there. Had a great time. Looks like India is ready to go. They got the ISRO uh, Mars orbiter mission sitting on a launch pad. The final 56 and a half hour countdown had started as of yesterday and uh, basically come to let's see 2.38 p.m. on November 5th uh, they're going to go ahead and launch and we're excited over here in the United States and we're hoping that you get up there India you can you know take that leap in, in spacecraft because we need as many people as possible sending us up to Mars we need as much data as possible because if we're going to want to live as a civilization we're going to have to go off planet. If you look at the history of this planet we're not going to be able to stay here forever um, I would say if I was an extraterrestrial civilization or say I, I wouldn't want to come to a planet like Earth. This Earth is too crazy. Too many, too many volcanoes, too many earthquakes. It's, it's unstable. Um, but anyway, well, it's, it's, it's unstable as stable it is. So this would not be the type of planet I would want to come to. But thank you, India. We were hoping you make it up there. Hopefully nobody messes with your stuff and you make it all the way and everything you guys have worked for pans out. So... Looks like on November 1st, ISR's launch authorization board has been given the final green signal from the launch of the MOM. So hopefully we'll get it tomorrow. And uh, well, I guess it was already given, yeah. The first days of Thursday, so that was given the other day. Basically, that, that's when they stuck it on the launch pad. So pretty cool. Check this thing out. This was cool. This is on NASA.gov, and I love this site because you always get some good stuff. And this was one of the, this is a PIA picture right here. 17553, as always, will be linked below. The Witch's Head. Ba this thing's brewing baby stars, basically. Let me read this for you real fast. It's real quick and easy. A witch appears to be screaming out into space in this new image from NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, or WISE. The infrared portrait shows the witch's head nebula, named after its resemblance to the profile of a wicked witch. Astronomers say the billowy cloud of the nebula, um, where baby stars are brewing, are being lit up by massive stars. Dust and the cloud is being hit with the starlight, causing it to glow with the infrared light which was picked up by the WISE's detectors. The Witch's Head Nebula is estimated to be hundreds of light years away in the Orion constellation, just off the famous Hunter's Knee. Um, so WISE was recently awakened to hunt for asteroids in a program called NEOWISE. The reactivation came after the spacecraft was put into hibernation in 2011 when it completed its two full scans of the sky as planned. So there we go. That's, that's NASA for you. We're getting some more uh, bang out of our bucks. They put this thing into, uh, you know, into that hibernation and end up coming out of it. It doesn't take too much with these satellites. Just throw them a couple of bands, make sure uh, when they're, the solar stuff is what you really have to watch for, you know, making sure the solar wind doesn't take them out. I got a buddy who works down at Wallops right down the street who's, who works on the satellites and making sure that they don't have, uh, you know, sun radiation problems. He's really, I got a lot of good stuff on CME, so... I'm uh, still not worried about common ice on guys. All I want to do is see it as it comes around. I went hunting for it this weekend. Couldn't get clear skies in the morning. Hopefully we'll be able to see it here soon. Um, we're getting close. I mean, I, uh, I'm excited to find out if it's going to come around the sun or if it's going to graze or if it's going to go and just fizz on out. So much love, guys. What's up in the sky, 37? Thank you guys for all the new subscribers. You guys rock. I've got a couple moon videos. Some Mars ones coming up. I've got these uh, good video coming up. A girl sent me, every time she sees UFOs, she's got like UFOs just following her. Or at least she, she thinks she does. And she's getting pictures of them, video of them. She's been sending me for like probably two months. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a video now on all of her stuff and let you guys decide for yourself because that's what we do. You know, I try, to re I try to reply to all the comments, everything I possibly can uh, when I get a chance. You know, What's Up in the Sky 37, come check out the website, www.whatsupinthesky.com. And you have a wonderful weekend, I hope. I hope you have a good week coming up. Much love to you and yours. Peace.